all-new Nissan lineup from your Award of Excellence dealer. Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. To check you and totally. Welcome back. It has been a cold week so far. Monday through today, December 3, 4, 5, and 6. Temperature 2.6 degrees below normal. And tomorrow will be colder than normal, so the cold start to December just keeps on coming. So does the snow. We got a little bit of that out there today. 38 the high today. 30 has been the low so far. That's where we are now. We'll drop down below this 27 easily before midnight. 71, the record high, five above is your record low. Just stepped out the back door. We have a covering on the ground here. Technically, 0.2 inches of snow, enough to cover the cars and the grassy areas. The roadways, though, are in good shape. They're, they're just wet. Uh, melted down, it was 0 0.03. So it wasn't a whole lot, but enough to give a covering on the grassy areas. You saw the cameras. We went to the break there. Up in Terre Haute, a little covering on the grassy areas there as well. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow, giving us about nine and a half hours of daylight. River stage in Terre Haute, 16.4, and it is on the way down. This is what it looks like in Terre Haute, 31. Relative humidity high at 96%. Winds are northwest at 8. Feels like 23, so there is a bit of a wind chill. And look at this. The pressure pretty high, 30, 34, as high pressure starts to move back in. Temperatures are turning colder behind the front. You can see this down in the 20s to the north, down to 21 already. In Champaign, we are headed for a cold night, so because of that, there may be some refreezing on untreated surfaces, so watch for that for some slick areas later on tonight. Look at this. Storm spinning in near the Los Angeles area, bringing rain to the areas that saw the fires. We've been talking about that for a while, and it looks like it's going to pass just to the south of here. Now they have winter storm warnings and winter storm watches in Texas and to Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, and even already way in advance issuing them here in North Carolina and Virginia, where it could be a big snowstorm for them. We'll see this fill in, I'm sure, with winter storm watches in Kentucky, maybe northern Tennessee as we head through time. But right now, it looks like that storm is going to pass just south of this area, but we'll keep an eye on it. In the meantime, here's this system going through tonight. It's basically a front, a cold front coming through, and that has produced the snow that we had today. We looked pretty nice out there for a while, not really sticking to the roads, but to the grassy areas and things like that. Most of it is now ending. It's all over in our southern and southeastern counties. That's about the only place. Most of that will probably be gone within the next 30 minutes as it continues to move to the southeast. So here you go, all of that ending. You can see the clouds clearing out as we head through the overnight, so that will allow for a cold night tonight. Sunshine tomorrow, but a cold day. Temperatures well below normal again tomorrow. Tomorrow night looks clear and cold. And then on Saturday, as that storm, the big storm to the south gets closer, we'll start to see clouds moving into the area, but just cloud cover. We should be dry during the day on Saturday. And there's the storm. You can see it to the south with that mixture coming up across portions of Kentucky and Tennessee. Snow down towards Lexington, over to West Virginia, and to portions of North Carolina, where there could be a lot of snow. Right now, we think it's going to pass just south of the two-state area, but we'll keep an eye on it. And then here, as we get into the middle of next week, another chance of some rain or a rain-snow mix about the middle of next week. Temperatures are cold, kind of staying that way, although it does get a little better by the middle of next week. Temperatures are getting closer to normal. The coldest of the air starts to move off to the north, and we do think we get into mid-month. Here we are, the 12th to the 16th, that we will have a break at least for a few days from the cold weather. Forecast tonight, clearing and cold, dropping to 19. Watch for refreezing some slick spots. Tomorrow, 35, sunshine, but a cold day. After that, it's going to stay cold. Temperatures cold through the weekend with some clouds here and there. Temperatures warming a little bit by the middle of next week with highs back near normal on Wednesday and Thursday. That's your forecast, and we'll head over to Grand. Thank you, Jesse. Let's go.